Hello, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we will be discussing electrical safety testing for the GI4000 ESU. More specifically, testing with the Fluke Biomedical Electrical Safety Analyzer, along with several other accessories. The GI4000 Electrosurgical Generator is classified as a Class 1 Type CF medical device, according to the IEC, complying with the highest degree of protection against electrical shock. Electrosurgical generators, like the GI4000, often require periodic electrical safety testing to verify the device is compliant with industry standard safety specifications. Let's look at all the equipment we will need to perform electrical safety testing for the GI4000. We begin this test by plugging the AC power cord into the ESA. Plug the ESA into a wall source. Plug the AC power cord into the GI4000. Power on the ESA. Press the A button on the ESA to allow the device to power its test subject. Plug the GI4000 into the ESA. Power on the GI4000. We zero our test leads by pressing the ohm button on the ESA. This will bring us to the protective earth resistance menu. Plug each end of the test lead into the volt ohm amp and ground null receptacles on the ESA. Press the F4 button to zero test leads. Earth resistance testing, also known as earth bond testing, test the integrity of the low resistance connection between the earth conductor and any conductive parts of the device. Remove the ground end of the test lead from the ESA and connect an alligator clip. Place the alligator clip on the ground lug at the rear of the GI4000. The ESA will measure ground resistance. The earth leakage test measures the current flowing down the protective earth conductor of the mains inlet lead. To measure earth leakage, press the microamp button. Cycle through polarity, neutral, and earth settings by pressing the buttons on the side of the screen. Select normal polarity and closed neutral. The GI4000 will remain on in normal condition. To measure single fault condition, open the neutral line by pressing the neutral button. The GI4000 will turn off in single fault condition. Do not be alarmed. The GI4000 can be turned back on by pressing the A button on the ESA or by closing the neutral line. Enclosure leakage displays the current that would flow if a person came in contact with the housing of the device. Place the alligator clip on the upper panel. Press the F2 button on the ESA to select enclosure. Test for normal polarity closed condition and single fault open neutral condition. Patient leakage testing is performed using the receptacles on the top of the ESA. To enter the patient leakage mode on the ESA, press the F4 button to select more from the leakage menu. Press the down arrow key to select the first applied parts group. Press F1 to select. We will use the right port of the argon receptacle for electrical connection to the GI4000. Plug a 4mm test lead into the far left receptacle on the ESA. Test for normal polarity, closed neutral condition, and single fault open earth condition.
unplug the test lead from the argon receptacle and attach the monopolar test adapter. Plug the test adapter into the monopolar receptacle on the GI4000. Test for normal polarity, closed condition, and single fault, open earth condition. The bipolar test adapter divides the active and dispersive lines within the bipolar circuit. Plug each end of two separate 4mm test leads into the bipolar test adapter. Plug the bipolar test adapter into the bipolar receptacle on the GI4000. Go back to the leakage menu on the ESA by pressing F4 and then F4 again. This time, we will select the first two applied parts since we are testing with two separate leads. Plug both test leads into the first two receptacles on top of the ESA. Test for normal polarity, closed neutral condition, and single fault, open earth condition. To measure pad safe system leakage, use the specialized test cord. Plug the neutral electro test cord into the PSS receptacle on the GI4000. Plug the opposite end of the neutral test leads into the first two receptacles on top of the ESA. Test for normal polarity, closed neutral condition, and single fault open earth condition. At this point, the video has come to a conclusion. Please refer to the IEC 60601 Guide to Electrical Safety Testing for Class 1 Type CF Medical Devices and the GI4000 Operation and Maintenance Manual for full instructions on use of the device. To verify accurate test procedures, please refer to the GI4000 Functional Test Instruction for mode selection, settings, measurement specifications, and the most up-to-date acceptance criteria. After completing all test procedures, be sure to power down all devices and disconnect test leads. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.